How you get people's attention. You know, we saw it the other week with Ammo Williams, one of our signings as well. You know, you go in there, you knock people out, people talk about it. You know, if, if he would have won on points and if he would have just sort of laboured to a, a victory, you wouldn't all be standing around me now asking me questions about Lorenzo oh, Simpson. So he did exactly what he's he supposed did to do exactly with his opponent. What he's supposed exactly, to do. Right? His level's above him, so go and knock him out. And that's exactly what he did. So, you know, I think he's got a great future. Big, strong kid. Very strong. You know, I think they excite me, kids like that. Even Devin as well, you know, he's 20 years old. Got so much potential in front of them. You can't say at this stage whether Lorenzo Simpson's going to go on and be a world champion, but what you can say is, we will give him the opportunities and the path to do it. And then everything else is just over to them. Mm. And as an athlete, as a fighter, that's a blessing. Because you know that you're going to get the opportunities. It's just down to your skill and your work ethic to see if you can get to the top. Switching gears, man. I've been reading. We all talking about Wild and Joshua. And you were talking about the 50-50 deal. You were like, you don't think so, but you say if Joshua does... No, I don't know. What I said was is that really up to Joshua the right, deal that he does. Exactly. Do I think Wilder's worth 50%? Absolutely not. Will Joshua give him 50%? Only time will tell. Wilder actually did say in a couple of weeks ago that he wouldn't even fight Joshua for 50-50 because he's got plans. So there's no point even talking about splits if there's not even going to be any discussion. You know, it's like it's fantasy stuff, isn't it? So um, Wilder has big value in the fight. He's an excellent fighter. He's a world champion. He's a star himself. So he has to be respected in that right. You know? Is there a lot of pressure on uh, Joshua right now since but, the big performance? This week, yeah, for like... sure. The pressure really is not about, you know, he, he's got to win next week. That's the most important thing. The pressure more is on the US debut. Yeah, everything's new to Joshua next week. You know, the venue, the commission, the ring, you know, the, the media activities. You know, he's used to going out, boxing in front of 90,000, people patting him on the back. He goes from home. To the venue, you know, to change your room, he goes in there. So it's, it's a little bit edgy next week. And really, you've got a guy in Ruiz who don't give a fuck. Like, he ain't scared. And you know what I mean? Moves. Absolutely not. He's going to go in there, he's going to let his hands go, and he knows, he says, all I've got to do is I've got to get, in, get on the inside, I've got to bust his body up, and I've got to land on his chin. So he'll be doing everything he can. It's going to be a tough fight because all the pressure's on Anthony Joshua. Deontay's laid down a gauntlet. He's gone in there, he's put in a great performance against Brazil, and he's gone, over to you. So now it's on Joshua to see what he can do. Let's see the crowd. Let's see the atmosphere. Let's see the hype on fight week. Let's see what Anthony Joshua does out of the ring, and most importantly, in the ring as well next Saturday night. And Who do you make of been pretty tough for you recently? Say again? Has this market been pretty tough for you? No, just learning. I mean, we're, we're going to set out the garden next week. You know, so life is sweet. Um, I think the biggest test is learning about different cities that we're going to, you know, developing fighters. Obviously, coming off the back of Jacobs Canelo, we're here, we had a bit of a kick in the nuts, but Usyk pulled out. It's okay. Devin Haney came in, it's a major signing for us. So he'll headline tonight. Um, no one really wants to help us, but I never expected to get any help. So it's good fun.